Sasha and Shasta, the UH Cougar mascots, energize crowds at U of H events. But before the costume Shasta and Sasha, the female version that debuted in 1995, there was the original Shasta. 1947 was the year the first Cougar was brought to campus, and Alpha Phi Omega fraternity was the one that took care of her and actually bought the Cougar and brought her here. Four more live Shastas would follow until Shasta 5's death in 1989. Uh, we'd take her to motels to put her up for the night on road games, and invariably she would get a roll of toilet paper and shred it, and we rarely left a motel room with a shower curtain intact. It was kind of hard to explain to the uh, management exactly what happened because it was, there, were, there weren't any pieces bigger than a square foot when she was through with it. Gary Gage spent his college days as a member of the UH Cougar Guard, the group that cared for the live Cougars. Little red wagon. She would ride in the little red wagon. When we were in the hotel room. Right here. That's it. Well, she had her own house on campus. Uh, it was about a, uh, oh, probably about 300 square feet cage, all told. Air conditioned, glassed in, built about 1965, would you say? About, about the times before I joined the group. And cleaned and maintained daily by the guards. She was taken out, exercised daily. Former members of the Cougar Guard returned to campus for homecoming and a special assignment. They went wild. It was hard to keep them away from the cage. So the Cougar Guards were awesome, walking in the parade and then out here today telling their stories of when you did have a live Cougar here at Houston. The Turpentine Creek Wildlife Rescue, a nonprofit, brought KC and Nala on a 600-mile journey from Arkansas for 2009 homecoming. We have about 30 Cougars or mountain lions at the Wildlife Refuge in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. So it was pretty, you know, we have a, quite a few choices and if an animal doesn't want to travel, then we won't bring them out. KC was rescued in a drug raid while Nala was surrendered by a family with young children. We want to make sure that people understand that these animals aren't animals that make good pets. So, you know, we want to encourage you not to go out and even though they look really cool and when they're babies they're even really cute, but we don't want you to own, try to own one of these animals for a pet. For more information about the Turpentine Creek Wildlife Rescue, visit www.turpentinecreek.org. For information on the UH Cougars, go to our homepage, uh.edu.